Jaguars get sports cars named after them. Pandas get top billing and environmental fundraisers. And then there are the critters that end up as the butt of the joke in the chain email. But ABC's Bat Gutman met one woman who believes that even the homeliest animals need love too. They are the mythical creatures lurking in the shallows of the Amazon. Ah, oh! It just bit me in the leg. <laughs> Brazil's fabled pink river dolphins, up to 10 feet long, wild, <laughs> powerful, Ooh. and let's face it, seriously ugly. Just look at that hunched back, the hooked schnoz, those sprouting whiskers. Do they have any plastic surgery here? But as zoologist Lucy Cook reminds us, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. They gotta love a freak. Look, they look so special, don't they? They don't look all neat and cute like Flippy. What kind of a place is this? Lucy is the host of Nat Geo Wild's Freaks and Creeps, an homage to the animal kingdom's unsightly outcasts, those that hit every branch falling off the jungle's ugly tree. For her, ugly is cute. And cute is saccharine and annoying. I want to do a campaign save ugly because ugly animals need love too. And I'm sick to death of watching shows about pandas and lions and tigers. Come on! She prefers the havoc wreaking Tasmanian devil or the armor plated pangolin. Lucy says while they may not be pretty to look at, these oddballs need love too. She's tired of all the money and research and conservation efforts going to so called charismatic species and not to equally endangered species like, say, the proboscis monkeys of Borneo with their massive floppy noses and that Donald Trump hair. Woo! She's body. <laughs> this one really likes me. Sometimes potty mouthed. I'm just telling you, I swear so much you can't use it, all right? So don't shoot my ass, all right? And obsessed with animal sex. I want to hunt for what can only be described as the world's weirdest penis. It's like a paw. Be careful what you ask, Lucy. As far as she's concerned, there's no such thing as TMI. Yeah. I've actually heard that dolphins are very promiscuous animals. Dolphins have gay sex. So you get them boffing each other's blowholes, actually. <laughs> On that note, we leave the water and head into the jungle because I have a surprise of my own for Lucy. I've got a little gift for you here. I know you like these little buggers. <gasps> oh. oh, he's a sweet little guy. Oh, look, you want a hug. Are you sure? You Careful with those yeah. claws. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at your beautiful face. Our new friend is a gray-throated sloth who moves so slowly, there's an entire ecosystem growing in his fur. Oh, look at the wonderful. size of the tick on him. Look at oh, that. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> want to know the only thing that a sloth does quickly? They actually, they have sex really quickly. I've seen it. He busts a bunch of moves They have beforehand. energy for certain things. She's even learned to mimic their mating call. He's all gripping me really hard now, going, whoa, there's a lady around here. He's seriously turned on right now. Off you go. Whee! That's it, there's a girl up there. As our new friend races away at the speed of, oh, about a foot a minute, Lucy reminds us that just because an animal is odd doesn't mean it's not important. Nature's like a game of Jenga. You don't know which block you'll pull out will make the whole thing collapse, and it's not necessarily the cute and fluffy bits at the top. You need to preserve the whole system. I'm Matt Gutman for Nightline in the Amazon, Brazil. Freaks and Creeps airs next Wednesday, October 17th on Nat Geo Wild.